Hello and welcome to the classroom. Sue, look, our friends are back. Sue, do you like tea? Well, it's tea time in our class today. Our letter of the day is T. We're going to talk about telling time. We're going to do a floating tea bag science experiment, and we're going to make a 3D teacup for art today. Are you ready to get started? Are you ready to get started? Well, let's begin. Sue's going to sit down so we can do our class job. Every time you come to class, we have to feed our pet fish, and his name is Fred. There you go, Fred. Well, now that Fred's been fed, let's turn around and do our calendar time. For the pointer today, we're using a flower because often teapots and teacups have pretty flowers on them. The month is January, and let's reach into our pail and see how we're going to count today. It says we're going to drink some tea. So let's pretend that we have our tea. You can put your pinky up if you want to. I have a real teacup. You can see sometimes when you hold it, you put your pinky up, and that's how you can be fancy. So let's put our pinkies up, and let's pretend we're drinking some tea as we say each number. One two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Today is January 8th. Can you say today's date? It's January 8th. If you want to know the day of the week, then go up to the top. It starts with the letter M. And I know that M says, mm. so what day could it be today? Mm. It's Monday, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday, days of the week. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. Well, it's time to look outside the window and see what your weather is like today. Is your weather sunny or rainy? Is it cloudy or snowy? Did you check? Well, when I do like this with my microphone, you just shout out whatever your weather is. What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? It is. It is. It is out today. It is. It is. It is out today. Well, let's dress Weather Bear. Okay, Weather Bear, we're going to put on some pants for you and a shirt and a coat and a hat. And what is the season right now? The season is winter. Good job. Well, that was our calendar and weather time. And now it's time for our letter of the day. Today's letter is T. Can you say T? Do you have a T in your name? If your name has letter T, stand up. If your name has letter T, stand up. If your name has letter T, if your name has letter T, if your name has letter T, stand up. Well, today T is for tea, and I have a tea cup. Let me bring it closer so you can see what's on the tea cup. What do you notice? Flowers. There are flowers all around on my tea cup and also on my teapot. So that's how I decorated my letter T today. I just put lots of pretty flowers. I just made some line, 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 lines, and then a little green dot in the middle. Okay, so what letter is this? 
It's letter T. Now we can recognize it. And here's an idea for decorating your T today. Next, we're going to practice writing letter T. To write letter T, you just need two lines. You need a line that goes down and then across at the top. Down and across. Can you try to make an uppercase letter T? Make a line that goes down and then across at the top. Down and across. Down and across. Down and across at the top. The lowercase t is almost like uppercase t. You're gonna go down and you're gonna go across, but instead of at the top, you're gonna go across in the middle. Down and across. Down and across. Down and across. Down and across. Okay, that's the lowercase letter T. And I know you're doing a great job listing and learning and even practicing your T. So this is a sticker for your handwriting paper. Well, now we know what letter T looks like. We can recognize it and write it. So let's talk about the sound that letter T makes. Letter T sounds like a ticking clock. T, t, t. Can you make that sound? Letter T says t, 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 like a ticking clock. Let's practice. I want you to hold your pretend teacup to the camera like this. And then I'm going to pour some tea if you can tell me what letter T says. So what does letter T say? Very good. T, t, t. Hold your teacup. Here comes some tea for you. Okay, so what does letter T say? T, t, t. Good job. Hold your teacup up. You get some more tea. What does letter T say? T, 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 t. Nice job again. More tea for you. Hold your pretend teacup up to the screen. Good job. Well, you did a great job remembering that letter T says t, 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 t. Well, it's time for us to blend with that letter sound. Do you remember what the vowels are? The vowels are A, E, I, O, U. A, E, I, O, U. A, E, I, O, U. These are the vowels. Well, let's put letter T in front of the vowels and let's make these sounds go together. That's called blending. Then we might put another letter at the end and read some real words. T says T, 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 and A says A, A, A. If you're not sure what the vowels sound like, go back and watch the vowel people video. The link is below to review those sounds. T, A, Ta. Ta. Very good. Ta. Like tap. T, E. T, E. T, E. Ta. Ta. Let's put an N at the end. Let's try to read a real word here. Ta. And I know that N says N. Ta. N. Ten. Ten. Like number ten. Next, T I. T. I. T. I. T. I. T. I. You try. T. Like tickle. Tickle, tickle, tickle. T. Tickle. All right, now T O. T. Ah. Ta. Ta. Let's put a letter P at the end. 
Let's see if we can read this real word. Top, 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 top. Last one, T U T U T U T U. Let's put a letter B at the end. T U B. B says B B B like popping bubbles. T U B. Tub, tub, like the bathtub. Well, you did a great, great job today. That was our letter time. We still have some sight words to read. And this week we have three new ones. W-E, this spells we. Can you say we? We. F-I-N-D, find. Can you say find? There it is, find. O-N-E, that's number one. Can you say one? Let's read these again. We find one. We find one. Let's read our letter T sight word reader. Everything on this page is going to start with letter T. This is my T book. Okay, get ready to read. We find one t -t -t tie. Good. Next, we find one t -t tree. Last, we find one tractor. Good job. Well, it is time for telling time. For math today, we're going to talk about telling time to the hour. Now, this is a clock, and on the clock, there are two hands. There's a short hand and a long hand. If the long hand is pointing to number 12, we say o'clock. The short hand tells us the hour, so we just say whatever number the short hand is pointing to. What number is that? It's number two. So we're going to say two, and this means o'clock. It's two o'clock. Now we're gonna do a worksheet together. The long hand will always be pointing to the 12. It will always be o'clock, but we're going to draw the short hands on the clock. So let's take a look and we'll do this together. Okay, so it's tea time. And I can see the first number right here is number two. So I'm going to draw a line to number two, a little line to number two. The time is two o'clock. All right, let's do the next one. Remember, we're just drawing the little hand on the clock. All right, so this number is five. So we're going to draw a line to number five. What time is it? It's five o'clock. Next, this number is six. So draw a line to number six. What time is it? Say six o'clock. It's six o'clock. Next, this number is three. So let's draw a line to number three. What time is it? Three o'clock. Good job. I see number one. Let's draw a line to number one. A little line to number one. What time is on this clock? It's one o'clock. Next, here's a seven. Let's draw a line to number seven. What time is it? It's seven o'clock. Number nine. Draw a line to number nine. And what time is it? It's nine o'clock. Now, this is number four. So we'll draw a line to number four. What time is it? It's four o'clock. Last one. One and one is 11. 
So find 11 on the clock and draw a little line pointing to 11. And what time is on this clock? It's 11 o'clock, 11 o'clock. And you did a great job telling time. Well, it is time now for science. So we're gonna do the floating tea bag science experiment. For science today, we're doing the floating tea bag science experiment. So I have a tea bag right here. I'm gonna open it up and I'm gonna remove the string. I'll get my scissors to help me make sure I get all the string off. Okay, and then I'm going to take the tea that's inside and I'm just gonna pour it into this cup. I don't need the tea, just the bag. Okay, so I got rid of all the tea that was inside and now I'm going to open this up and it really just looks like kind of like a tube once I get it opened up. You can see here. I can get it open, there we go. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this tube, it's really just the tea bag, and I'm gonna put it on this plate. Now this is only for grown-ups to do, and I'm a grown-up, so I'll do this for us. You would never want to play with a lighter or matches or fire. So I'm going to light this, and we're gonna watch, and the tea bag is going to start to rise up to the ceiling. Okay, let's give this a try. burning down like a candle, isn't it? There he goes. <laughs> I'll try to catch it on the way down. There's nothing left, just some ashes. I'll bring it over so you can see. There's nothing left, just some ashes. They're not hot anymore. So the tea bag actually burned up, but did you notice that it was rising up to the ceiling. So how is that possible? Why did it just start floating up? Well, that's because heat rises. We added heat to that tea bag. And when we did, it started rising up to the ceiling. So for our science activity today, we did the floating tea bag, heat rises. Well, it's time for art and we're heading over to the art table to make a 3D teacup. Let's go. So here we are over at the art table and we're gonna make a 3D teacup. I'm just gonna need two pieces of paper. So here's a piece that's going to be the background for my teacup. And then I need another piece of paper. I'm just going to cut a rectangle. Just like this. And in the middle of it, I'm going to draw a flower because this is going to be a teacup. And we already looked at a teacup and we saw teacups usually have flowers on them. I'm just going to draw a flower in the middle and you can decorate yours however you'd like to. Next, I'm going to turn this over and I'm going to fold both ends. I'm going to fold this end and I'm going to fold this end. And I'm going to put some glue on both of these ends. Glue right there and glue right there. Now I'm going to turn this over and I'm gonna put one side that I glued right here and then bring that other side that has glue around, but curve it. And I'll pick it up and I'll show you what I mean. I just curved it around and then put it down. Now I'm going to make a handle for my teacup. So I'm just gonna take that paper again and just make a small rectangle this time. I'm going to fold the ends just like I did before and put glue on those ends just like before. And then I'm going to stick one end right here, curve it around, same as before, and stick the other end right there. And now, look at that. It looks like a teacup, a 3D teacup. So that is our art project for today. 
And now it's time for story time. Here's another look at that 3D teacup. Hope you get to make one today too. Well, for story time today, we're going to read a book that is called Tea Party Rules. Tea Party Rules by Amy Dykeman. Cup was playing in the woods when he smelled something delicious. He followed his nose through the bushes and found cookies and another bear. Can I have a cookie? Cub asked. The bear just stared. Cub tried again. Can I have a cookie, please? The bear just stared. Why don't you answer? Cub cried. He poked the bear. The bear fell over. Oh, Cub exclaimed. You can't eat cookies. Cub felt sorry for the bear. I'll eat the cookies for you, he promised. Cub was about to take a bite. When he heard someone coming, he had no time to hide. Cub pretended to be the other bear. It's time to play tea party, the girl announced. The girl paused. She looked closely at Cub. You're grubby, the girl said. Tea party rule, you must be clean. Then we can have cookies. She carried Cub inside and put him in the tub. Cub liked being grubby. He did not want to be clean, but he wanted cookies. When Cub was clean, the girl paused again. She looked very closely at Cub. You are messy, the girl said. Tea party rule, you must be neat. Then we can have cookies. She carried Cub to her room. Cub liked being messy. He did not want to be neat, but he did want cookies. When Cub was neat, the girl paused once more. She looked very, very closely at Cub. Something is still not right, the girl said. Tea party rule, it must be fancy. Then we can have cookies. She pulled out her dress up trunk. Cub was certain he did not want to be fancy. He wanted to run away, but he really wanted cookies. Perfect, the girl said. You're ready to play tea party. She carried Cub outside. There were the cookies. Now, the girl said, the most important tea party rule is you must eat daintily. Cub couldn't believe it. He was clean. He was neat. He was wearing a dress. And he had to eat daintily. This was too much for a bear. So Cub helped himself. <coughs> the girl gasped. <gasps> You're not following the rules, she shouted. Cub did not care. He had cookies. Soon only one cookie was left. The girl sniffled. I really wanted cookies too, she said. Cub knew how that felt. He gave the girl the last cookie. But the girl did not eat daintily. She said, we're not playing tea party anymore. Now we're playing. Bear! <laughs> Cub liked this game much better than Tea Party, and he already knew the rules. The end. <laughs> well, I hope you had some fun today. It was tea time in our class. I'll see you tomorrow for letter U. U is for utensils, like forks and spoons and knives. Goodbye, everybody. Have a great rest of your day. See you next time.